Hi folks, Ivan and Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're in the northeastern suburb of Brabham in Western Australia. Now Brabham is located about 21 kilometres northeast of the CBD. It used to be part of Henley Brook, but it was gazetted in May 2011 and it became Brabham. Now a little bit of history on uh, the suburb of Brabham. Brabham was, I don't know if you guys know this, but Brabham was actually named after Australian racing car identity Sir Jack Brabham. And he competed in, a, um, in the Grand Prix, which was actually held at the old Cavisham airstrip, which was later turned into a racetrack. Now Sir Jack Brabham actually competed in the 1962 Australian Grand Prix. Now Sir Jack didn't actually win that um, Grand Prix in 1962, but they still named the suburb after him because being an Australian racing car legend. Now the airstrip in um, what was called Cavisham um, was actually built by the US military for bomber aircraft. At, in the later stages of World War II and after that it wasn't required anymore so that's how they turned it into a racetrack. Now that actual racetrack um, hosted the Australian Grand Prix in 1957 and 1962. So I guess if you guys want to find out if your house is built on, on a racetrack you should do some um, inquiries into it and you might be living on the same spot that uh, Sir Jack Brabham raced in 1962. Interesting fact. Now some of the landmarks in and around, around uh, Brabham in Perth, Western Australia, we've got the, of course, the famous uh, Swan Valley. It's f fairly close to Brabham with its um, numerous wineries, restaurants. Uh, there's a few pubs in there now and all sorts of things. Um, we've also got a, um, a jungle park in the area, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and the Malaga industrial area, which creates a lot of jobs for people in this part of uh, Perth. It's a massive industrial area with all sorts of industry in there. Now the jungle park, like I said, I'll talk about, is a themed um, adventure park for kids. It's usually, it uh, was designed for kids five and above to help them develop their skills in climbing objects and jumping through hoops and what have you. Uh, there's also the Motor Museum of WA, which is in White Whiteman Park, and that opened in 1994. Now that has got about 200 different cars, vintage type cars and motorcycles. It's also got six, about 6,000 scale uh, cars in there. So interesting thing if you're into mo your motor cars and motorcycles to go in there and check it out. Now there's also another thing in the Swan Valley called Super Golf and Adventure Putt Putt and that's uh, oversized golf balls and oversized um, golf clubs. Makes for an interesting thing if you're out that way, go, and, go in there and um, check it out. That's on West Swan Road in, um, in the Swan Valley.
So guys, you might ask yourself, why should I move to Brabham and build my house here? Well, the land over here is still fairly well priced, but we have noticed that the established houses have gone up quite a bit. Actually, Brabham was one of the better areas where housing has gone up. I think it went up, shot up about 20% or something. So some of the established houses are creeping up there. Uh, Brabham's also close to a big shopping centre called Morley Galleria, which is probably about 15-20 minute drive away from Brabham. And that shopping centre's got all sorts of things in there. But it has also got its own neighbourhood shopping centre, which was just opened about a year ago. And that's got a Coles in there and about 12 specialty stores. As I said before, you're also very close to the Malaga industrial area. Now there's also going to be a train coming through the suburb in about 2024. Now the train station won't actually be in Brabham, it'll be just a little bit further down from Brabham. I think it's called Whiteman Park, that's where it's going to be, the closest station, which is very close to Brabham. So you've probably got a 10 minute walk into the suburb, which isn't that far, a few minutes drive, which will be pretty good to get you into the city if that's where you work. Okay, so there's a lot, uh, quite a bit of shopping around the area. Brabham's got its own shopping centre, like I mentioned, and Morley Galleria, like I mentioned, is fairly close. There's also Allenbrook Central, which is uh, probably a 10 minute drive from Brabham, which most Brabham, people that lived in Brabham used to go to Allenbrook Central before the Brabham shopping centre was uh, built. There's also to the east of Brabham, there's uh, more, uh, sorry, um, Midland Gate, which is like Morley Galleria. It's a huge shopping centre. It's got all sorts of shops in there. So if you need something a bit more, um, more than groceries and that, you go to either Morley Galleria or Midland Gate. Now, education facilities within the suburb of Brabham. Well, there's only one primary school over here. Uh, there hasn't been a high school built yet. I'm not sure if there's going to. There probably will be down the track. There are a couple of daycare centres. Now, there's also a college in Allenbrook called Allenbrook Secondary College, which is a 10 minute drive away. There are also a number of private schools scattered around the place which you can make, in, we'll, we'll put a few of those up on the screen for you. Um, there's a number of um, religious type colleges around the place also, which we'll put on the screen for you.
Hey okay, guys, we're out here in Brabham, S, uh, Brabham in Perth, Western Australia. Now, there's a lot of land releases happening out here. There's land by peat, uh, releases by peat, cedar woods, Avonlea, and Stockland, from what we've seen. But as you can see at the back of me over here, there's, there's a huge developing happen over, uh, development happening over here also. So it's a massive area, lots of land for sale out here in Brabham. So I've made some notes here guys because there's a lot of different land releases happening here in Brabham. And we've got an aeroplane going overhead also, so I hope you can hear me. Um, with the peat land release, uh, the sizes are from 165 square metres to 450 square metres and the frontages are 6 metres to 19 metres wide so quite a variance in sizing there okay guys the next one is the next land release is by Cedar Woods and that's the Ariella private estate and this includes fencing and landscaping to these lots and the land in stages 10, 11, 13 and 14 now the sizes are from 180 square metres to 489 square metres. The frontages are from 6 metres wide to 15.4 metres wide. And the prices for these blocks are from 183,000 to 345,000 Australian dollars. The next one is by Stockland and they got, they're in various uh, lots of different stages this one so I didn't write down the stages but we'll put the the, the links to these companies down below, below in the description area for you now the land sizes from Stockland is between uh, 250 square meters to 518 square meters and the prices range from 210,000 to 365,000 Australian dollars. And the last one is by Avon Lee Brabham. And these are also various stages. And the land sizes range from 330 square meters to 450 square meters. Prices are from 229,000 to 330,000 Australian dollars. And the frontages are from 10 metres to 15 metres wide. So you've got a lot of different types of blocks out here, a lot of different frontages out here. So you should be able to find something to suit your house. Now remember, the, these are block prices. These, do not, these are not house prices. You need to the house prices are separate so it's house price plus block price which makes up the full package for your build hi guys we're outside the charlotte Plat platinum by home group here in brabham in perth western australia we're going to take you for a little bit of a walk through in the house but this is the outside of the house i so will just show you around what's going on here beautiful facade on this house Not a bit of molding over here on the on the walls sort of um, rendered molding so you can see the different molding on top there and down the bottom over here we've also got a little um little wooden insert on top there if you can pick that up I don't know if you can see that and um, a bit of tiling over here this looks quite nice under the portico beautiful granite filled tiling it looks and a swing around this way and you've also got some moulding over there on the wall over there and um, this looks really nice here the, the driveway, the exposed aggregate driveway looks really good and um, double garage is a 4.2 you need a minimum 12.5 metre frontage for this house so it's not very wide so uh, we'll take you inside now and have a look around 
Hi oh yeah, guys, we're inside the, uh, the Charlotte Platinum Biome Group out here in Brabham in Perth. Check this out here, but remember I was talking about these tiles on the outside, the granite look tile, well it flows in also. Comes inside and around the corner here. Check this out, it's quite good, quite like that. And uh, let's swing around this way guys, look at this uh, entrance over here about 15 meters long. Check how long that is. That looks really good. Okay, we've got a 1.2 meter door over here, the front door. Timber frame, solid timber around there with a nice black handles on it. And a glass um, insert there. Looks really nice. Now I've just had a look at the ceiling in here in the entrance. This is actually one of those shadow line ceilings I've been talking about before. It's got no cornices. And this is uh, through the entranceway, it's a uh, 34 core ceiling over here, so it's pretty high, being the display home. We'll swing around here into bedroom 4 over here. It's about uh, 3.5 by 3 metres, I think. And um, this one's got cornices in, so it's only that entrance over there that's got the shadow line ceiling and, and parts of the rest of the house, but we'll show you through that again. Now if you swing around this way over here, we've got the sliding um, built-in robes, the sliding mirror doors here on the built-in robes, with the hanging space in there and a shelf. That looks pretty cool. And a nice big window over here to let in some natural light. Now check out this guys, this is actually in the entry, that 15 metre long entry I was telling you about. They've got a, whacked a bit of a drop zone in here. A huge, um, you can hang your bags up here, keys, whatever. Huge bench over here, check this bench out, it's massive. And then we've got cab uh, cupboards up above. These just open up like that. That's a really good idea, I like that with a bit of a bulkhead on top to finish it all off. That looks really nice. And we'll swing away around this way over here into the main bedroom. And um, have a look at this main bedroom, guys. This is huge. It's about 4 metres by 4.2. It's huge, massive. Now, they, they don't have um, an actual walk-in robe in here like uh, most of the houses. This is actually different. This over here is actually your robe. So check this out. All these actually open up. And you've got hanging space in there for your longer clothes like dresses etc because the the rails right on top so it goes halfway and then down here you've got more room over here that's shelving in there so this whole area here is the same it's got um, a shelf going right across over there and then if you swing around over here check this out it's all um, more hanging space and shelving in here. This is absolutely huge. I don't mind this idea. This is actually this is actually different and and good with the with the um, doors on it. So you don't have to walk into the robe. It's all there for you. If you swing around this way, guys, more shelving over here. Have a look at this. This looks pretty good. This is actually a deep shelf over here. So you can put lots of things. I mean, you can even whack a mirror on here. And now this as your makeup um, area for the girls. More shelving on top over there. The room's got a shadow line ceiling. That means without the cornices. Check that out. That looks pretty good. So if you swing around over here, this is actually a corner uh, window here. And on this side, it's got a sliding door. So this is the ensuite I'm in now. And this sliding door goes out. You can have a little portico out there. They've they've put a bit of garden out there, which looks really nice. But you can have a little um, little cupboard area there to have your coffee in the morning. Step straight out of the shower and out there and have a coffee. Now this over here is the ensuite. You've got the um, floor to to ceiling um, tiles here. Really, really nice tiles in this. Beautiful tiles and a huge towel rail over here, massive towel rail and it's also got the shadow line ceiling over here okay guys, double vanities over here huge bench massive bench six 
six um, cupboards in here, six doors, plenty of uh, storage in there. Check that out, beautiful. Plenty of storage, soft closed doors, chrome tapware. And have a look at this, you've got a shelf running right across here, right across the full length of the bench that shelf goes, with a massive mirror over there. So if you swing around this way here, you've got your shower over here with a frameless uh, shower frame on there. Beautifully tiled in here, floor to ceiling tiles. Huge, um, th this, this, um, this shelf over here actually runs straight through into the shower recess. So it goes straight through as one long shelf. Floor to ceiling tiles, like I said. Huge, uh, great drain over here and beautiful tiles on the floor. Chrome um, handles on here to offset everything. And the, and the huge chrome um, hinges up there. Looks really nice. And I like this over here, what home group gives you the, the um, glass door over there. You can't see anything in there, so that's a really good thing. That's a toilet in there, by the way. It's all floor to ceiling tiled with a shadow line ceiling up there. Okay guys, in one of the minor bedrooms here, and this one's 3.3 .3 by 3.1, with a sliding door over here. Mirrored glass doors in the, in the, um, in the built-in robe, with a shelving up here, hanging space over there. Nice big window over here guys, letting in some natural, natural air. That's actually got the awning windows there, so you wind them in and out. Okay, we'll swing around here and um, into the main bathroom over here. This is quite a big bathroom, but it hasn't got a uh, bath in it. It's just a big um, shower over here, all frameless um, glass doors, so a decent sized shower over there with a big um, rain aired um, shower rose up there. Nice big um, Stone bench top here. It's got four doors down there. Heaps of storage space with a nice chrome tapware and a huge mirror in there. Double um, towel rails over here. That's that's pretty cool. That big towel rails also. And check out this door. I like that door with the with the grooves going down there. Just gives it some sort of um, a nice sort of effect. Okay, guys, we're in another. Um, Minor bedroom, 3.3 by 3.7. This is the largest one out of the minor bedrooms. Swing around here, it's got a nice big, big um, walk-in robe over here, or built-in robe with the, with the sliders on there again and your shelving and hanging space. Uh, this here has got a half a window so you can put things up against the wall. As you can see, it only goes halfway up. so. You can put some stuff up against the wall over there, which is good. And um, this one's got the the nice cornices also, like all the bedrooms have got, all those cornices. So if you swing out here, and this, by the way, is a nice little passageway uh, le leading off the, the a few of the two of the minor bedrooms, the bathroom, and we'll swing in here. And this over here is the powder room. Now this is pretty big powder room. It's pretty wide and it's got a full length uh, stone bench top over here. It goes full length with a couple of um, doors under here, your cabinet, floating cabinet by the way. Um, that there's um, plenty of space over there to store things in. Check out this basin. This is quite a nice little basin over here. It's, it, it does the job. It's not massive, it's not bulky, but you don't want that in a powder room. You want something like this. Nice tap chrome, uh, chrome way over here, and uh, a big mirror over there. And you've got, even got a space here to hang a, a towel to, um, to dry your hands. Okay guys, we're in the activity room over here in this beautiful home by home group in Brabham. 
in the suburb of Western Australia. This one here, this is the activity room and this is 3.8 by 3.7 decent size. Um, you've also got the shadow line ceiling up here with the coffered ceiling up there so that goes an extra few courses up. And uh, you've got a window over here which lets in some natural light. You've also got an area over here to hang a TV, decent sized TV because that's quite a big um, wall over there. And we swing around this way, we just outside back into the passageway here. Yeah? You've got some shelving over here. We can display some stuff, which looks pretty nice. And if we um, swing around this way over here, we head into the into the scullery over here, which is around this corner here. This, by the way, has got a bit of a feature wall over here with a opening in there so you can view out into your living area over there but through the scullery over here it's a decent sized scullery if you come in here and follow me through this year is the uh, bench in the scullery nice stone bench up over here four doors over there heaps of storage they're quite deep doors and you've also got the overheads over here. So there's plenty of storage in this house with a bulkhead just to finish it off on top over there. And come around this way here, you've got a nice tap over here with your um, stainless steel sink in here, nice deep sink in there. Fridge recess over here for your beer fridge. That's a, a, a sort of, oh, uh, you get a decent sized fridge in there. Yeah, that's a decent sized fridge for your beers and drinks and what have you. Now check this out guys, there's a lot of shelves over here. It's a decent size um, area here for all your, um, to, to put all your um, tin gear and gla uh, jars and what have you, spices, rice in there. And through here, this is the laundry through here. It's a, it's a big laundry, decent size. Nice door over here. This one opens up um, outwards, it doesn't slide. Plenty of room over here for your washing machine and dryer. And this here is quite a big um, linen cupboard over here. It's got three sliding doors on it and lots of shelving in there. Check that out. Plenty of shelves in there. And over here. It's got plenty over here. This is actually to put your broom and uh, vacuum cleaner, etc. So that's plenty of room over there for that. So if you, if you swing out here, check this out. You can actually close this off so you don't have the, the noise of that washing machine going into the rest of your house. Got a glass um, panel in there. Nice idea. Okay, guys, in the hub of the house over here in the kitchen as your, all your ladies like to be in, cooking up a good meal for us guys. Um, we've got nice double stainless steel sinks here, undermount sinks, deep sinks, beautiful uh, vegetable tap over there. Um, of course the stone bench tops over here and if you swing around this way over here, you've got the um, dishwasher recess over there. Plenty of uh, storage underneath. Over here there's um, three drawers over there and you've got a microwave over here. Microwave recess with a pot drawer under here. Pretty deep pot, pot drawer. And over here we've got the fridge recess. Decent, decent width over here so you can fit a decent sized fridge in there. A couple of um, doors on top for more storage over there and if you swing around through here you've got a 900 mil gas hot plate over here heaps of drawers over here guys check this out there's uh, nine drawers over there plus it goes around in an L shape over here so you've got more drawers under there pot drawers really deep pot drawers under there beautiful with the um, stone bench tops over here full length um, full length kitchen bench there. We've got more um, 
more storage over here plus on top so that they should just press and pull up like that and it stays there so it run back on the head so you've got plenty come around here it's a it's a decent sized kitchen it's not a massive house but it's a decent sized kitchen in here you've got the double ovens over here you've got more storage there look at that there's plenty of storage in this kitchen plenty of storage so you've got double ovens there as i said and more under there and swing around this way over here there's your stone bench top over here it goes down it's a waterfall effect they call that and you've got more um, storage around here no that's not i guess it is it's a door pops open like that and there's another one on that end over there and this is your breakfast bar over here with three um this you can put three uh bar stools in there and we swing around here this is your dining area guys so you can easily put a six seat dining. this is quite a big table in here so it's quite good um sliding doors over here we can see that that opens up to the alfresco area we'll go out there that that is a hot breeze blowing through it's reached 40 degrees over here in perth today so it's fairly warm weather out there maybe even hotter in some suburbs i've heard some of them went to 42 degrees today anyway um we've got an awning uh, sorry a um plantation pine um louvre over here you can adjust that to let in some natural light more shelving on top over here and a nice big bench over here that's a full length bench that goes straight across with doors either uh, doors either side over there so you can have that for a study nook over there massive study nook two people can sit there or three people massive so if you swing around this way yeah you've got the um this is the the living area through here so it's all open plan you've got the kitchen dining living all open plan and this is a decent sized living over here plenty of storage up here also this is the display version so all these ex these um cabinets and stuff in here what, what i'm showing you now all cost extra you've got cabinetry on top there you've got a bulkhead up there and further up you've got a shadow line um ceiling going all the way through that area i've just showed you the kitchen the um dining and of course this area here and the the walkway through there the entrance that's all shadow line ceiling so this area here is pretty wide pretty big area and then you've got um your sliding doors out here going outside to the alfresco okay guys we're in the alfresco area here by this beautiful house by home group and it is fairly warm out here i think it's gone above 40 degrees so you've got the high ceilings in here also with the shadow line ceiling up here which really sets it off now this is quite a big alfresco it's um 10 meters long because it goes right there right down there 3.7 but the 3.7 will go from that door over there till about here and then down there it narrows down a little bit so that's a little bit narrow down there but nevertheless it is a big alfresco area it's huge plenty of room down here this is this is the narrow part here i've been talking about and this is quite yeah see how, see how long it is pretty long susan's right up one end and i'm up this end over here and it's a long alfresco like i said 10 meters you've also got another sliding door over here that in there is the dining room so that'll you can lead uh, come out from the dining and walk out here have a couple of seats over here so it's a big alfresco now this house will start at about three hundred thousand for the very basic price and then it just moves up and up and up with all the cabinetry and stuff you've seen built in um all the all the overheads all that type of thing the shadow line ceilings that all costs extra so the very very basic price starts at about three hundred i've just been told by the sales rep you can get 
a, a fairly good spec for about 330,000. But all that overhead cabinet around that, that, that'll be extra. So if you're interested in the house, have a talk to the new home sales consultant and he'll set you on the right track. Okay guys, well that's it for the suburb of Brabham in Perth, Western Australia. We hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you've got any questions for us about any suburbs in Perth or what's happening in the, in the land releases and that, let us know in the comments below. We've actually had um, someone ask us to do Brabham, so we've do, we're doing it now for you guys. And um, please don't forget to subscribe and like, that'll be good. Thank you.